All right, and welcome everybody. Let me see if I can get these microphones working. Uh, hopefully we've worked out the echo from our last session, but we won't know until we start cutting this video sometime tomorrow or the next day. So, when we last left off on our band, this is, uh, this is um, Mr. Wilson's experience, session 37. When we last, last left our intrepid band of adventurers, <laughs> Um, Nick had been given the, the, the basic understandings of how to uh, operate the airship that had been gifted to the party by the Queen. Uh, there was some suspicion of the motives of the Queen for upgrading the uh, Gatsby's tent. Um, <laughs> There's all kinds of shenanigans going on at the table. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Uh, <laughs> mm, is it broken? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's broken it in. You know what? We have super glue for that. Okay. So, anyway, We're that's right, folks. Okay. You're seeing it here all live as it happens. <laughs> Drama unfolds. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's traumatic. Yes. So yes. now the uh, the party is looking towards the west. Um, there were some um, surprising revelations found in the, the mages' libraries at uh, by Antley after doing some research. Uh, there were uh, maybe some mentions of certain folks in the histories. Uh, listed oh. there at the mm -hmm. library, and I think Nick is on his Captain Nick, excuse me, is no. on his way back to the. Um, oh, I think I thought we already landed to Portis, and we'll see what goes from there. So let's go to the table, and let's see what's going on. So it's tiny. All right, there we are. All right, everybody, say hello. Hello, everybody. Hey. Wait Hello. Audience. And let me get our stuff set up. Okay. It's odd right. being over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a little odd. Yeah, yeah, we, have a, we have a monitor over here, so that if you're wondering what everybody's looking at, off to the side of the set, that's that's the monitor. Yeah. They're, they're able you see to, me looking over there occasionally. They're they're able to adore themselves and, and right. so handsome. Anyway. <laughs> Well, here we are, back at the table. So beautiful. Um, so let's see, I believe we left off. Um, you guys were just, some of us were uh, engaging in engaging things with things. Their, their true love, and some of us were engaging thing, in things with their not true love, their one night love. <laughs> and one night stand. It was like Brienne of Torf with, what is that little dude? The redhead dude. Oh, Tormund. 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 Didn't they? Didn't they <laughs> get busy? This is, big, no. this is big woman. No. <laughs> did they not get busy? No. I love Brienne. Did they really not? No, no Tormund and Brienne never did. did. Tormund no. would desire that, though. That's yeah. what I thought. With a passion. Oh, this is a little, yeah. That would have been an awesome Don't thing. Don't get started on the she, end she twist his of, voice of that, that particular story. <laughs> Uh, so we're just gonna, yeah, you because know, I'd have to edit all kind of stuff out, cursing and anyway. So everybody has their own. Our dungeon master about, took it personal about how that went. I, I did take it personal. I took it very hard uh, that that Jamie didn't stay with Brienne. I was just jealous. We did freaking. I was so sad. I mean, after after that huge arc, that and, they just, arc and then and how they died. Yeah. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'll Nobody loves Cersei. Come on, guys. I mean, I like Cersei too, but right. somebody <laughs> so, did. Just hashtag did. What? What? <laughs> let's, let's, go to the the let's go back to justice for the hound. Where is my? Let's go back to the Mistral's miscreants. Let's see what's happening in this one. Um, yes. Let me pick a dog. Don't worry. All right. You never not kicking dogs. It's our time. It's our time to shine. It's morning time. Scoot a dog, save the cats. It's about to be dinner time. We just finished up at the library. You just finished up with your new boat. And I am sailing back. So, are we all going to meet back at the tent? Oh, we were going to meet back in your room. 
Blaze and Hell's Cabin. That's right. That's right. And Lee's room. Because you were going to tell us something. Hey, and we can even before dinner. As you guys are like. So I can you see me just before dinner. Person, by the way. I was kind of having a thought no, about Anne. You need to start. You need to blast Kevin. Then I was battling. I kind of want to ask him, hey, why don't we get married now and we can make this our honeymoon adventure and then we'll come back. Adeline just a thought. Just to do. Yeah, me. Skills. Skills. I told you these were mine. Skills. No, because these are the red and the purple. Skills. <laughs> Here, turd. Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks. Okay, so. Scooby We're all in Emily's room? Yes? Well, I'm still sailing back, aren't I? No, you had just landed. Oh, okay. I'm sleeping. I can't wait. No, we're all going to be in there. They, we have, they have to tell us. They come great. Just look at all your stuff. I'm dragged by the air. So you're like, uh, collecting. Do you yeah, collect you things in your room? No, not in the room at the palace. Oh, okay. I thought we were in the tent. Sorry, no, my bad. No, no, because although for Dash, she didn't player, want us all in the tent. Yeah, she kept us some reason. Yeah. Well, Gatsby we'll has assured me because I am DMPCing her today tonight. She's assured me that everyone is welcome in the tent. Uh, that the paranoia generated by <laughs> your paranoia. <laughs> We what, what, that's what drove her decision making process. Half orc! We're skeptical. <laughs> that's how we stay safe. So, we question you can, everything. You can go in the tent, you can go in the uh, room, you, you can stand? use whatever you want. <laughs> but but uh, Gatsby took it upon herself to go around to everyone and tell you that everyone was welcome in the tent, including those that would be someone. Why y'all just look at her? John Cachet. Because they know I'm going to get busy with my fiance. Cachet. Okay, okay, so keep it quiet. <coughs> uh-uh, I'm loud. <laughs> so, the queen, the queen told us that there might be books about the breaking, and the daggers specifically might be in them, the one that I gave to my nephew. Um, we found those books. We have copies of them. Books. Dude, we're in the history books. What? Oh, what? It talks about us. We're about in the us. history books with the antler riders. Oh, hmm. I know. Guess what else? That's what I said. <laughs> Guess what else? When we went back in time, we did not go back in time in Romside. Nope. We went back in time and hopped continents. So we're basically this place's history. Yes. Mm -hmm. the so four like, bears. yes. Um. So the the Circle Bay and the Circle Lake are where we here. all got sick. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the West. Who Yes. That one. Yeah, well, it, it's here in the West. Radiation. Uh -huh. Yes. That's because y'all rolled back. I didn't get sick. Well, apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> hey, apparently people sick. live out there now. Like, it, it's, it's safer now. It's people so, live out there. I'm guessing that's where our maiden voyage is going to take us. I don't know. That's a discussion, but probably. I would like, like to go. go. So what are we going to do? To the West. To the West. West we go. Ever westward we push. I want to see if any of those rooms are still there. What did we tell the queen? We told her we were going west regardless. Yeah, we did. Like, thanks for the, um, you like the titles and stuff. I you, go. you love them. Yeah. Well, our mission is through with her right now. For now. Yes. For now. Hang on. What if the queen discovers that we are in the history books? Well, yeah, it doesn't say anything. It said... People who they had to teach their language to that had no idea how to survive, and that we fought, we were uh, strangers from another another place, yes. and that we fought the uh, the bear people uh, with yeah, with the bear clan, whatever they are. So okay, yeah. So like, it doesn't say our names. All right. And it says that we became their friend. We became part of their clan. Yeah, she's not good at it. No. Nah. I mean, there, there's because no none pictures. of us have it's spoken pre common. No. Although the fact that we can reliably from translate from books, from books from that are in pre common is a little sus. I'm just kidding. I think I covered that up. I think well, I covered that pretty good. You're a paladin. Mm. You're going to look at books. I'm a warlock. I, I need that knowledge. Yeah. And I, I did mention that there were uh, books in pre common at the library until drama. So, we should be good. We should be good. <laughs> I right. mean, all right. 
I, I or need to, a queenie knows and she's playing a really good game. Like, what's she going to do to us? What a really long game. Us? Like, for real. Like, yeah, turn our organs into dust and everything. But. <laughs> the, 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 that's we've all? We've seen it happen. Um, Only if we let her. Exactly. We are time jumpers. So what are what are our goals for going west? What are we? What's our plan? We need to find those portals again because Mr. L said we have to find more portals. We also have to train. We still have to train. So there is that. And I think we can kill two birds with one stone and do that. Fortunately, I think we have a, a good crew at our side with us as well because they're going with us. They stay on the ship. I know, one hundred percent. That's going to help our travel so much. Yes. Oh my gosh. If I can get Adam you don't have to, to come walk. with us, that would be even better. Mm -hmm. well, he's got things to do. Okay, so on an unrelated he's note, are hard. we done with this story? Are we done conversing about this? Or is it agreed talking? that we all go west? Yeah. Yeah. Do I get a choice? All right. No. Sure. So. What's your vote? <laughs> Fuck it. All right. What? So. You're unvoted. You're going west. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to be my well, first can mate. Can we go down to the south? Who wants to be my first mate? Me. No, he won't. Me. Cracker. Me. Okay. Rochambeau. Roll for it. Roll for yes. it. Roll for yeah, it. You have you have a, a a small crew. All right. So you Four probably already two. have one. Probably do, but just in case, I need someone I trust. Okay. So closest to ten. He needs closest to ten. ten? Yes. <laughs> Stop snapping. Oh. What'd you roll? Four? Nineteen. So we're in the same boat. Roll again. One. Three. Okay. One more time. So. Yeah, okay, you draw one. one. Tiebreaker? Fourteen. Four. Oh, God! Again. One more time! Y'all are still... Nine. Eleven! Mm. One more time! Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One more! <laughs> no, 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 I got uh, Heads or tails? Heads or tails. Four leaf clovers, heads, words or tails? Tails. Tails never fails. Alright. Just throw it up in there and lay it hand. Tails. First name. Kiss it! Alrighty! I like it. Wow. How about you guys get this job? I like it when there's a, a, Ooh, drama. a logical selection process. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Plus, is I like votes. We're, we're, this we're is both great. candidates are evaluated on the merits of their hours. Um, I have many merits. Let me get you a And permission. Yeah. Roll for it. No. Flip. Flip. Even it all comes down to a coin. It all came down to and a coin. Let that be a lesson for you at home, boys and girls. Most of the stuff in life comes down to a coin flip. <laughs> so, onward now for guys. I use the pendulum. A lot. All right, homie, homie, Jesus, let's go. Also a good option. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, Sir, when are we leaving? Know. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Yes. Okay. After butt crack a dog. Do we have all our supplies? Um, I don't know. Go check. I did. I mean, yeah. we have a fully supplied ship, and we have the. Uh, I did ask the queen to pack us enough supplies to last okay. us a couple of years, like a month or two. All right. So, a couple of year, month or two. Couple it more is months almost dinner time. Let's say we go eat one more time with the queen. Yes, that would be a lovely last dinner with her. I'm gonna go find Adeline and have him come sit with us. Mm -hmm. Other food. One more. Okay. So you make your way I'm to the up. palace dining room. Um, dressed in our finest, or I'm sorry, are we dressed in our finest? Just wear clothes. She she, 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 she wear a shirt. That's Be up, queen. That's up to you, Captain General. <laughs> I'm wearing my nicest. General Captain. Because I always dress nice. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. so, I'm wearing one of my not sloppy shirts. We don't care. Um, you work. notice that the queen is dining every, with I, I wear the, the same soul. thing every day, I feel nice. Hmm. In the, in the palace room, dining room. You just use the, the magic washing machine. And of course she's surrounded by her guard, mm. um, but she is rubbing elbows with the common person. Mm. Good for her. Good. A very altruistic of her. Of course. She's got to find a new mate. Well, um, any why suggestions? Not? 
among the common folk? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, that's going to be a joke from a long time, for yes. a long time. Anyway, <laughs> so you guys, so you guys awesome. make your way to open seats mm -hmm. or a table. Elf, what are you doing? She's making her way to a table. <laughs> a stray She's dog walks into the castle. Don't kick the dog. Don't kick the dog. I pick up the dog and. We no. need yeah, the so barbarian to roll to pet the dog. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. Anyway, no. so as you make your way to the table, you find the place, and, and these people are your friends. You fought with them. Um, you know, they're all, they all know who you are, and you know most of them. And you guys sit down. It's just like you've done hundreds of times in the past. And there's a uh, roast beast and roast beast. It's like a, and my then, favorite. Many vegetables. And then lots of veggies. Yes. And some fruit and um, a few nuts. Maybe even, maybe even some <laughs> some That's fish. Mm -hmm. What they bring to people? That's right. But, but there's these big platters and all this stuff on the table, so you can eat your fill. Breads and wines and yes, yes. Yeah. So. There you go. It, the, the den in the room is loud. You know, everybody's talking. Like a whole leg. So we don't really get to converse right. between if she's surrounded by Chris. Yeah. Pass me a cookie. Peace. Yes, we are at dinner, so. Pass the cookies. <laughs> so along, along the, the <laughs> way, throughout the meal, or during the meal, you hear. Uh, at the main table. And the queen stands and she gives a rip roaring uh, speech to the people in the dining room. You, my companions, my supporters, the only reason we're here is because of you all. And uh, this is the beginning of our new open empire. And if you notice, there's some, there's some integration of the races. You know, the, there's a few elves and there's a few half orcs, a uh, few, um, and there are no dragons because they can't fit in here. But you can be assured that they're getting their fill of sheep and such. Oh, I absolutely sat down with the dwarves and just started speaking dwarves. Yep, yeah, and there's some it's dwarves, so and um, it seems like everything is going just right. The language of the myth. And when she makes contact, she she has seen y'all come in. She goes, and Mistrels, Mistrels are um, are heroes of the Empire from across the Eastern Sea. We must bid them goodbye, for they are continuing on their journey on the morrow. Oh, I mean, we did tell her. We yeah. Did. Yeah. How did yeah. you know to call us Mystery of Miscreants? Have we told her anything about yes. this? Okay, yes. I couldn't remember. Okay. Dude, you Mystery wrote so letters with her. It's I'm so getting paranoid. Everybody's paranoid. Okay. I'm not paranoid. Half work. Half elf. So as she as she finishes her dinner, um talent. In, oh. in your head you hear. Uh, would you please come to my chambers and at your convenience, you and your friend, so that we may say our goodbyes and such. Okay. Oh, you hear it in your head. <coughs> All of us? So I'll gather. And then she's just walking out of the room. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go around the room and, and gather the folk. Uh, come with me. Why? Because the queen mm -hmm. said so. Well, none of you know that. In the, I'm going to, uh, if you're eating, I'll thrust the rest of my leg of lamb into your arms. You can, so you can carry it like that. <laughs> But just put your head down now. You, you carry the leg of lamb like that, and, and Tally will carry you like that. So, <laughs> okay, that'll work. So, yeah, we'll go and follow me, and we all mm -hmm. go to the queen. 
Okay, as you make your way through, as you make your way through the castle, you find yourself outside the chambers of the queen. You've been here before. You were the protectors of the queen. Uh, you lived here at one point, uh, protecting her. You've been in this room in some some of the most horrible moments in the history of this empire. Um, the regicide of the king. Um, and you, at that, during that um, episode, you guys found out just how uh, formidable the queen was on her own. So she's the queen. So as the, there's guards there, and uh, they, as soon as you approach the, the door, they step in front of the door. And they look at you, and there's all these generals, heroes of the empire, etc., etc. Yeah, they're doing their job. Yeah, they're doing their job. And they look around, and the one looks and says, the, I believe the queen is expecting let me let me check please respect so he whispers through a door and the next thing you know is the door is flying open and the young man is stepping aside <laughs> and the queen is standing in the in the uh, doorway please come in <coughs> thank you Henri. <coughs> you are uh, very <coughs> Diligent about your duties. I will Gently. make sure your commander knows. Clap him on the shoulder as we pass. Good job, bud. And you, you get kind of, it's kind of a left handed thing. So she invites you into her sitting room, which is just beyond her bedroom. And she says, My friends, we have been through many things together. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, Although I cannot offer you um, a valid map of what lies to the west because none exist in the, the empire. As far as the empire was concerned prior to our transformation, that which was west of the border was not worth uh, studying or existing. But I can offer you that. Or is this? And she rolls her hand back, and there's a big chest. Ooh, money. Reiner, go open that chest. Okay. As you reach to open the chest, it's a mimic and it bites you and Brian. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> As you open the chest, it's filled with gold. Money. That's a lot of money, yay! Can I have some? My no. generous queen. Money? No. Money? No. Although I can't... What the barnacles? You're poor. Listen to the queen. Although I envy you all in the adventure on which you're about to proceed. And oh, how I do wish I could join you. My duty lies here, as yours lies westward. You have the titles of this kingdom for what good they might do you, or what harm they may bring you to the West. Be careful who you share them with. But should you need shelter, you always have it here. Please carry the blessings of the gods with you. Ooh. And please visit soon. You bet you. I got a house out here. You bet you. Do I still have my house? I'll out here. You bet you. Do, you, do I still get <laughs> my gonna house? Have a, I'm going to have a bakery. You bet you. I still get my big house, right? I'm going to eat all the food at the bakery. You bet you. You said, you said we get whatever we want. Thank you. That was a wish. I want Adam to come with you. You, you see that she, she kind of puts her hand over her mouth and your arms a bit. I think that's her cue. Um, I'm getting one question, question before we split, and then I'll let you go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I like about you, Miss Tyler. Matter of fact, 
No use in shit. And the other one is the one. You agree? You agree? What? Ah. Shit out of the rest. What? Mm. Which of the stories can I go look up in the library? Because they're usually facing back. So are there any stories that you heard about the West or the people in the West or anything that's ever happened in the West growing up? The only, the only reference that you might find here are the, there are, you know, the, the stories of terrible monsters and, and evil peoples and, but those were all stories to frighten children mm -hmm. and to manipulate their behavior. Mm -hmm. um, what we know of recent is of the elves and some of the dragon folk and the, the Orkin tribes and the dwarves of the Western Mountains uh, that have been our allies in our effort to convert the king the, the empire to an open empire. So there is not much human. history of the West here in Klan, and we um, will endeavor to change that. All right. Queenie, it has been a pleasure and an honor serving with you. May your gods carry you. We can all hope. Good night then. Good and I'll night. turn and exit. Good night all. Do I get and go well. Stay safe. Always. Watch out for Adam. I give the queen a proper bow and then I take my leave. Yeah. All right. As you leave, here, uh, so. young Henri jumps back in front of the door, and he, you can tell he's shook. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of lean in as everybody else passes. If anything happens to her and you're still living, I will find you. He's even more shook at this point. He visibly begins to shake. <laughs> Good luck. Well done, little buddy. Learned intimidation from the best. It's not hard to intimidate these kids. <laughs> All right. So, like what now? So we gotta get some sleep because we have to embark on our journey tomorrow. A little bit of ice. Sure. Oh, we gotta sleep on the ship. How are we gonna do it? Oh, I'm sure it's just like <laughs> sleeping on Captain Devere's ship. So we have a tent. I'm sleeping in the captain's quarters. So are we going to get on the boat I'm now the tonight and go leave tonight, or are we going to no, rest night. one more night? Just one in more night. Here. One more night here. One more night here. So and you guys are remaining in the palace for the, tonight. One more night. Okay. So last night, and as I have pretty much every night living here, before I go to sleep, I'm going out to the balcony doing the praying thing. Okay. Things are at peace. So the, um, let's see, does everybody have their communications devices? Did everybody see the ship? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he had okay. Hell's Bills playing on the way in. So. I like the ship again, because it was so illegal. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Is there, even, is there even a picture of it? Yes. yes. Do you not pay attention to the group chat? No. I love it. You should. No, we talk about very important things. I'm muted it. What we're phone. eating. I'm muted it because my phone keeps going bing, 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 bing. It's only really leaning up the game. Leaning up the game. Okay, making okay. sure our correct cast was still working. All right, so. Let me mother figure it out. Hmm? Out of trouble getting the stream earlier. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> you guys, um, it's getting late in the evening. I take it you all return to your rooms? Sure. Yes. Okay. I'm going to bring some wine with me just so I can, you know, sleep. 
some water. I'm actually going to take some air in the gardens. See if Adeline will go for a walk with me. I'm going to study that. <laughs> she said, don't drink candle you. before I actually get on a boat with <laughs> <her>. <laughs> As a chaperone. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. if it's my boat. Afraid I'm going to be compromised? I mean... <laughs> Roll for insight. <laughs> 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 Roll for insight. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> okay, so you're going for a walk. You guys are going back to your room. Yes. Yep, I'm, I'm going to go study that candle. Too. I'm you're going to go out. study it. Say, Can I help Amway in any way? That red candle with the rooms carved okay. into it. Can I help Amway in any way, seeing as we share a room? I mean, you can sit there and watch me look at it, but it's not that much. <laughs> <funny. laughs> <laughs> you, <can't laughs> <do stuff. laughs> you can watch her watching a candle. <laughs> you said rooms. Rooms, yes. Rooms, yes. yes. Like that was yes. Well, I'm gonna. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna inquire a little yes. bit about the candle. Like, what do you know about it so far? It's red and it has runes and it's. Uh, we found it in a dead guy's bag. That's oh, yeah. all we got. Yeah, you next missed. to the past without trace scroll. Yeah, me and Bell had to pull you out of that little hole, didn't we? Divine sense it. Hmm? Can I divine sense it? Um. Give me a. <laughs> At least it's not Dragon Ball Z. It's Attack on Titan that would like my show. You got an eight. Plus? This much? That's, a, that's with the plus. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, that's five, you're, honey. You're, you're staring at it, and it's a red candle of ruins. <sighs> Which one's our color? Oh, I can. Mm -hmm. Can I give it a shot? Because I have a plus slow. two. I do. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it to Tally. Well, can I take a look at it first? Since I have a plus two. Sure. Well, go ahead. That's up. That's up to. Go Emma. ahead. All right. Oh. For what? It rolled. I'm plus two. That's thirteen. And you focus on it, and you're you're doing your. I like, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Are y'all doing it investigation? Me. Wait, what check? No, Arcana. 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 It's a red candle with runes on it. Well, I'm at a loss. <laughs> Let's go to Tally. Let's go to Tally. Tally! Tally, we need you. Not, 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 the red candle with the carbon that you will put on fire. Yes. Yeah. Okay, can you check it out for us? I don't want to take this thing on the boat if it's going to be dangerous. Check it out for you. Yeah, because I can't see anything. Yes. Candle. The red candle with runes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <it's that. laughs> you know more about magic. Do the thing. Do the thing. Plus, I have to go to 11. Plus, Plus. 6, 17. 17. 17. Okay, as you look at it, you kind of, the rooms look familiar. You're not really, you're not really sure. It's a, there's something, you recognize two of the rooms, and one of them says darkness, and one of them says light. Well, it is a candle. Okay, so is it going to be dangerous? That's the question. You said darkness. Catch on one more time. Yeah, yeah, darkness and light. I feel like we should all give it like a collective shot. Okay. There goes 20. No, you're oh. not with us. Oh. You're not with us. I need to roll this one anyways. Why? Me too. So after about an hour, <laughs> all three of you sitting, uh, staring at the stupid candle, staring I'm at just, this candle, I'm just like what the? Uh, I don't get it. It dawns on you that this is a sentence you know from your some old spell work, and it says, <clears throat> and and you it just pops in your head. This is a a rarely used. Um, such ruins, ruins, and it says, 
uh, in the darkness, may this bring you light. So, okay. In the darkness, may it bring you light. It's a candle. Pretty much. So it's just a red candle. candle with runes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Huh? Okay. Everybody turn the lights out and light it. Stuff the torches. I don't know if they're being snarky <coughs> or if this. But there's only but one way to reads, find out. In the darkness, may this bring you light. Okay. You guys want As to bring this out? It's part of an old one. spell. So. I have an idea. It's stupid, but I have an idea. I don't feel like it's evil. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it outside somewhere and light it just in case. Outside. <laughs> I'll walk out to the little little half step balcony. Um, I'm like right there on the side the wall. And I'm gonna light it. Okay, so you're on the balcony. Yeah. Uh, I'm in Tally's room. Of Tally's room. With the I'm little. a couple feet behind Anne, like, yeah, just in case. He's yeah. still in the room. <laughs> just stand. In case you get blown backwards. <laughs> I catch. Yeah, and I'm just like. So as you squints of safety. As you do the the cantrip that you learned from yeah, Vicky. Uh, Vicky. The top of the candle begins to glow, and then it starts to flare. And that's where we're going to take a break. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we'll be back in just a few minutes. I put the bonfire. Okay, so... Uh, we're back, and uh, we've, we've got the little crisis taken care of. Uh, those of you that are pet owners understand some crises like we've just gone through. Um, so we had to get that squared away and get everything working again, or um, smelling good again, and uh, we'll go from there. So, let's see, we're gonna go back to the table and we should be, we get to the table here, we should be back to normal here in just a few minutes once we get uh, Moonstone back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the bag's not going to last. Moon unit. What? The, the bag's not going to last. The bag. Uh, yeah. I did it. I don't think anybody else is. I did it. Stupid. It's very fun. Well, some of us So, we've got Moon unit back at the table. Uh, oh, it's right. Somewhere out there, there's a dweezel. I think he's sitting right beside her. Those of you that are X or boomers will uh, will understand that reference. Those of you that are not will will not. Oh, what did I miss it? What? What's the unit? What's the moon unit? Oh, moon unit. Yeah. We get back. Okay. Now, now I've got our OBS set up. So. Oh, I've got so much stuff. Um, again, if there's anybody out there that wants to be our permanent AP, you know, producer and all that, that wants to do this, so I can just concentrate on D on uh, DMing. Uh, you can sit off the side and run all our cameras and our our video and stuff, and um, we'll appreciate you because that's all we can afford. And my mom wants everybody to know if you want a kitten. No. <laughs> I uh, we have a few. Let us know. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. You're uh, fried bologna sandwiches if, and if, bippity if, boppity boo. If y'all see pictures okay. of them, I'm saying I'm cool. warning you, you're not mm -hmm. getting the black one. You can forget about that. Okay. So, <laughs> right. onward and upward. When we left off. Ann Lee had her safety squint. Uh, his right. safety squint on. Yes. Yeah. As he was lighting the candle, um, the what's the effectiveness of a safety yeah. squid? Um, right. <laughs> I have a shield up just in case. <laughs> oh, you're going to let me die out here by myself. So it, it awesome. Flared. It flared. It flared no, up and then it just comes back into a little flame on top of the candle. 
as you blow it out, it blows out, and you know you have the little wisps of smoke coming off the, the still glowing um, uh, wick. You okay? That was terrifying, little buddy. Awesome. <laughs> so it's that safe. Um, a candle. So it's a flashbang. It's a very bright candle. Nick. So essentially, it's just a flashbang. Did you feel anything? Did the rooms move? It got hot. <laughs> On my face. Like <laughs> poke Annie's face. Yep, yeah, that's warm. That sometime. My brows are a little crusty. Some <laughs> you, what, your, uh, I'm not doing that again on purpose. On your eyebrow. <laughs> your beard has been singed to a, a fine shave. Uh, now that you've made my room smell like burning hair and candle <laughs> wax. Oh. Yeah, you can go to bed. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. Pat, Pat, I mean, go. sleep on it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> hey, you might want to go make a big shower. You don't smell that all night. That in the darkness, may this bring you light. Maybe that spell will come to you. Maybe. Because hey, you know you what's can... coming to me? Sleep. I would much rather sleep than deal with more spells. So. Yeah, sleep. Hey, sleep's good. Sleep's uh, good. Agnes, when you need to go shave, you can just uh, like that. I, you were uh, you were on a walkabout in the gardens. Yes. Uh, with anyone in particular? Well, my betrothed. Okay. Um, you find Adlin. Uh, he was involved yes, in a sir. meeting with um, some of the dwarves. Uh, they were settling some some border issues and. Uh, there's a lot of things in flux right now. The borders of the king of the empire, and the elven lands, and the dwarven lands, and uh -huh. the, yeah, there's all kinds of things going on. So there's all kinds of meetings. Uh, but Adeline did break away to, to walk with you in the garden. Um, the sun has be, has set, and the gardens are lit by lanterns. So it's uh, very romantic. Yay. And um, so as you're walking along, um, you're about 100 feet outside in the gardens, and all of a sudden you become nauseated, just, just nauseated to the point it doubles you over and you drop to your knees. Okay. Uh, you feel like your insides are turning out. Um, and as you look up, you see the big oak that's standing in the garden before you. Hanging from the big oak is Adeline by a noose. And as you turn and look and check your surroundings, fires are burning everywhere. If you look behind you, the castle is burning. What? Oh. And then all of a sudden you feel Adeline's hand on your arm and say, he says, Agnes, Agnes. What's wrong? We have to get out of here. Now. I just had a vision. Let's go to the others. Let's go find every we're going to find Tally and Belle. Come on. Tally's don't wake her up. Any sleep tonight. You're not sleeping tonight. So I grab my beloved and we're getting the hell out of there. He's coming with me by hook or by crook. He, we're going to knock he on the door. Stand, but he goes with me. Well, buddy, you <laughs> said we're going to sleep on it. No, we're not. Wake up. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> we got to talk now. <laughs> Poor Tally. <laughs> I'm yeah. having visions. <laughs> You're a vision. Everything's burning. This whole place is going to burn. He's on a Adeline's going to be on a noose and we'll be swinging on a noose. This was the vision I had in the garden. Everything went dark, then all of a sudden everything around us is on fire. We have to vacate <laughs> now. <laughs> Something's so going fire. on. Well. <laughs> Wake up, Bell! <laughs> You're lying on your back. You feel a great pain in your in your middle of your back. You try to move but your legs won't respond. Your, your ax is just out of reach. You can taste um, 
the iron of your blood in your mouth. Are we poisoned? The candle. You, you look up, sweat dripping through your eyes, burning. You see the queen's mother standing over you. You feel the sword penetrate your throat. Oh, As she says, die. And you awaken in your room. Hello, world. Good morning. Wait, is she, is she so still I'm going to get up and go find. Dallas! <laughs> 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 yes. I'm running down the hall. But you're awake for years. The, the palace is too. collapsed. You're standing in the bubble. You see the queen's mother's forces closing on the palace. Everyone is gone. The dragons have been down. <gasps> My dragon! This is your last stand. And all of a sudden you're back in your room with your with Mysterious, mysterious. Did that just happen? Are you good? Wait, are we there? Did you just? Did this just, just happen? Knock on the door. Knock on door. Knock on it. Okay. <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> um. When we defeated the queen's, we're not there yet. When we defeated the queen's mother, all of her forces were disbanded or integrated. Right? So we thought, yes. We saw the queen's mother die. Didn't she like behead her or something? Yeah. Or stab her? Or she, she felled her? It wasn't a look-alike, was it? Well, the one that you all remember is the queen's mother being stabbed through the gut. Alternate timeline, different alternate timeline. We're in a different timeline, aren't we? Whatever, yeah. Yeah, well, we've done the flashes. Yeah. 
Spells, Ryan. It's time to do what we do best. It seems like we've been doing this for a long time then. As my honor dies, her speed increases. Uh, it seems feet. as if the wind will sweep you from her back. But you hold on, as you've done before, many times. You're connected to my honor. You feel what she feels. And you feel the great scorpion bolt pass through her chest. Mm. No. As she fails to keep flying. And as you crash into the river below, Mayana sinks to the bottom. You skip down the river on top of the water before coming to a halt and then sinking. Arms broken. Uh, yeah, from there. Legs broken. You sink below the waves. I had it worse than a whale. As you try to dig for the surface with none, limbs that won't respond the very last thing we remember is gasping for air and swallowing water and you wake up in your bed. You have one? Yep. See My best happened. friend died. See what happened was? My Anna died. And I drowned with everything broken. I skipped across There's the water like eight things. times. We're thing. all having visions. I can't wait to see who with y'all. Burning are. palace. Queen mother kills her. The undead. Uh, uh, Adelaide's dead and my king too. The queen's mother's Appa forces. Apparently, uh, me and Mayana have been like killing the mother's forces for like a long time because Mayana dies. He dies. All of you are standing in Tally's room when you hear a. Who now? <sighs> That's me. Is that the no, That could only be Nick. So I'm going to go to the door and open it. As you open the door, it's the queen standing before you. Heart 2? <laughs> Elf 2, hold on. Queenie, have you had a vision? I, we should talk. I just wake look. up. Like, something doesn't feel right. Look, look, look at this. Elf 2. Yes, we, we should all talk. talk. Come in. And. I know what it is that you wear around your neck. We should talk. Let's go for a walk, Winnie. Shall we? Shall I have trusted you with my life. I know what that is that you wear around your neck. But you've been left. No one has ever seen one until I saw the one around your neck. By this? The... The gyrosphere? My sphere? Those yes, Amy. Those are the controllers of the waves. This is 
is just a piece of jewelry. I can pay. Please do not insult me. I realize the the importance of maintaining control of that particular match. And know this, I do not want to. Nor do I want the responsibility to, for keeping it separate. But something has begun to unravel. seems to radiate around you and your group. I have nothing but respect for you all. Go to the plains in the west. What's in the plains? Rumored. There is a great temple complex. in a place called Chichu Nitsi. It is long abandoned. But it's said the time walkers came from there. History books. Go read now. How, how, how long have you known? Since you arrived. Why did you wait till now? <laughs> you were a good steward you fight my face, you have to of that ability. I have no desire to have that temptation within the Empire. I do not envy the task that you have okay. before you for the remainder of your life. Responsible for all that is, all that was, and all that could be. I have a feeling it's a task I will become very accustomed to. Now, please do not misunderstand my sin. You must take your people and go. With the dawn, which Probably use an hour or two from now. I just suddenly wake up. I will send a messenger if the if there are any residual effects once you leave. I can feel things like that. Right. And I can I can trace it back to that angle. And how long have you had this wonky feeling uh, about the undoing? I have felt it a few times before, but held my tongue as I felt that you had things in control. However, things appear to be unraveling right now that you must, you must gain control of Well, lucky for me, my whole group is in my room. Not all of us, that's true. We're still asleep. Like, they haven't got the vision yet. I don't think we're going to have the vision. We'll be. We'll be. Is there anything else that I can offer you to help you along your way? Adeline, Adeline. Don't tell. 
Adeline. Sadly, I cannot. You said anything. I cannot offer him. He has duties. But he may make that choice. Right. Again, your hospitality is immeasurable. Your graciousness <coughs> unmentionable. I will miss you, Miss Tim. I'm going to miss you too, Queen. In a weird kind of pay your royal way. Good journeys. There and she turns and glides away. I'll hurry back up to my room and I'll notice that little buddy and Nick aren't there. Hey, Druid. Go wake them up for me. Okay. Hey, this. Uh, I'm beat now, but I'm foot back up against the wall, kicking the door. I'm all my area of the room. <laughs> and then I end up kicking Lass you. Lass is lass! I kick you because I was facing the other way, kicking on the door. Roll a 20. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> Me too! Right in the snorkeling. <laughs> I grab him by the <laughs> give me uh, give me eight sided damage done. <laughs> After this is done, I'm grabbing by the <laughs> neck and just like which is the eight? Yeah. <sighs> I'm grabbing by the I'm grabbing by the you make you take two hit points of damage. <laughs> which is quite appropriate for the target. <laughs> One hit point per piece. <laughs> Wait, how many? <laughs> One hit point per <laughs> piece. Oh. <laughs> so, so so one hit per the one hit point per twin. Oh, would make it eight. Yep. Okay. Make sure you write the 90 down in the I did. max spot. I did. No, you still have 68 written down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my I'm good dumb. fellow. <sighs> Sorry. Can't <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you just can't can send him free to do stuff. Right. You I'm just saying, I'm talking about it. Gas becomes a nonce on the door. Boopity boopity boo. Like and subscribe. Oh, little <laughs> Gatsby. You too? What? Oh. I was eating a fried bologna sandwich. Me and Anna sure you are. Dragon Hill. No, I'm not like, nobody. I'm, oh. Oh. I'm grabbing you. I am still I'm asleep. Dragging. I am just physically present. Like, we, we got, got to go. go. Let's go. I grabbed you. Uh, I, I had you by like the she holds the room. Let's go. Little party. I'm here. <laughs> I need you here. I I I I, I, I kicked him in the groin. Yeah, and guess what? I don't have my shirt collar now. Come on. Are we all packed? <laughs> Good. We're hitting the sky. sky? Oh, we were leaving in the morning. We are it leaving is morning. now. Is it the morning? <laughs> yes. So, yes. Oh, For all it intents and purposes. Uh, well, is Adeline coming with us or is Adeline staying? You need to go, go ask, ask him. Go ask him. Okay, consider it out. He's still in the room with everybody while y'all were freaking yeah, out. That's right. He's that's right. There. He's in there. So, Adeline, are you coming with? It's a no. That would be a no. All right. So you know how the conversation comes. Have you have duty. I have duty. Right. Yes, that. The other thing. He gives you a necklace. See you soon. He gives you a necklace. Okay. On the necklace. On the necklace is an oval stone. Write this down. Feel like this is gonna be. She's gonna have a picture of. She's gonna have a picture of it soon. Okay. So, I need to write that down, right? I feel like this is an important necklace. I think so, too. I feel it. Hey, he already gave me one, didn't he? With me and get the crew up. That's the one that glows, okay? Let's see. Yes. Let's just do treasure. Right. You need an ice pack, so my friend. It's a silver tone Sorry. metal no, chain. No. <laughs> and drooping from the end of the silver tone metal treasure. chain is a... It looks like just an oval river stone. Oh, oval. I thought you said opal. O-V-A-L. Yeah, I thought you said oval. I thought you said opal, too. River stone? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a rock. I like stones. I like rocks. Rocks are cool. Okay. It's not just a rock. It's a this will keep us connected. It's a what? It's a 
Oh. It's not just a boulder. Yeah. It's a rock. <laughs> That's connected, okay. Is there a special way to use it? Um. Elven magic, perhaps? My love? It was crashed to the stone. Concentrate and focus on that. Who you wish to speak to. And the holder of the stone that matches yours will be able to do the same. Yeah, you're going to be like me and my brother for like three hours talking on the phone and face up. I couldn't hear. I'm sorry. What? Sorry. And the holder of the stone that matches yours <coughs> will be able to do the same over any distance. So you'll never take it off, right? I'll have to go to my room and get you. Okay. But I will help you all to your ship. <gasps> all right. As soon as we board, I'm going down below deck, and grabbing like a bucket and a. Dad, a, don't need that. A stick and just like wake up, you salty dogs. <laughs> wake up. The Royal Air Navy. Let's go. So, when you arrive at the ship, the watch has been set, and there's a young. Sailor on deck, and he recognizes you. Captain, welcome aboard. They are, they are we leaving? Yep. Yes. Get the crew ready. We're going to take off momentarily. I see. So as he rushes downstairs, he says, um, "Your your quarters are being prepared." All right. Captain, don't you want to know you're heading? We're heading west. That's all I know. Mm, we're heading. More specifically. What are heading on? We're headed to the plains. The plains. More specifically, a abandoned an abandoned temple complex called Chichun. Sounds Asian. Let's go. Sounds South, South American. American. Mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds Asian. All right. So <laughs> you are now here. <laughs> I don't know where it is, I just know that's where we gotta go. Wee, wee. Hmm. You say I'll talk to our navigator then. I use our official navigator. Swahili, actually. Who's that? Can I be that? Can I be that? No. I don't wanna do is drink and sleep. You don't wake me up in the middle of You have a crew of four on deck. Alright. You have four sailors. Interesting. And apparently your cabin is being prepared by a fifth. Makes five. Plus your first mate. That's six. And me, the navigator. And all y'all, right? She's the navigator. She knows where we're going. All right. We're flipping a coin. Once we're prepared and ready, I immediately weigh anchor and take off. Okay. What, Just as Captain DeVere told you, you're able to make the ship rise. You're able to command your sailors to hoist the sails and put you into the winds. Be easy considering no, it's I an airship. Poise the colors. Um, I'm watching yeah. all of this because, as first mate, I need to learn this. You, the ship turns westward. I'm literally issuing commands as I go. So. These are skilled sailors, they don't need and much, they, they just like need some guns. All right, <laughs> just tell them when to go, tell them when to stop. Poise the colors! <laughs> and as you begin to rise above Portus, you look down at the gridded city as the sun begins to rise. It is The a light begins to pass over the city. As the ship begins to drift westward, you see the, the great border. And as you gain altitude, Another sailor comes from Berlin. It's a young woman with flame red hair. Oh shit! Except with this bullshit out here. As she climbs the stairs, she looks to the. Does she look familiar to me at all? Deck. Oh yeah, you know. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's young Tendi. Oh, phew, oh, okay. Cindy! Oh, okay. I thought it was Vicky. <laughs> that's we're, my we're all the whole, like, we're all like, <gasps> and now we're, oh, like a collective ready. sigh of relief. 
right now. And I will be your helmsman. Very well. She's 15 years old. Good on you. So Girl power. Between I'm so me proud. and the people, like the generals, the only people that are that should be able to issue like raise and fall commands at will is me and Anley. However, if any of the other crew, the other people I'm, I'm with, have like any requests to go down and survey, they have to ask me or, or Anley, and then we'll issue that command to you. Okay. What is our heading? We're heading west towards the plains. Shall I take the wheel? Yes, please. She posts up behind the wheel, and you see her spin. And she ties the wheel off in western. And she hollers down at one of the sailors, Trim that! Pull that lanyard tight! And they all just seem to be doing, and like I said, this little 15 year old girl. I'm so proud. I'm proud! We're not the captain no more. No, I'm the captain. She's the helmsman. She's the helmsman. She's doing her job. Very well, I might add. And you're only 15? I, I believe so. Captain. You believe? You believe. You are talented. You That's believe. what they say. <laughs> you can and be a general one day. You, but you remember, I spent a lot of time at the, um, what was the name of that place? Was. <laughs> Damn it. That little salmon room. The something salmon. <laughs> the drunken salmon. What was the name oh, of it's way back in my notes. Way back. Oh, that was months ago. I spent all that time on the docks and yeah. working at the salmon. So I picked up a few things. Well, okay. continue like this, and you'll be an admiral one day. Hey, Captain! What's up? Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll take our friend. Are we there yet? <laughs> Are we there yet? Boy, I'm that'll be agile. at the table. And hey, just one second. Mr. Viscus have made their hasty exit from the Empire. Again. Again. <laughs> Another hasty exit for Mr. Viscus. Okay. When do they not make a hasty exit? Uh, they're not called the miscreants for nothing. Just <laughs> one time. Okay, so let's see. Did you see a thing? <laughs> Uh, your altitude is, you're probably about a mile up. So, so, so young. So you're up about 5,000 feet. Oh, it's cold up here. Not high enough to, to, for the air to be so thin you can't breathe. And Captain DeVere warns you of that. Yep. And your course seems to be set pretty smoothly towards the west. Tendi seems to be adept at her job, mm -hmm. as your helmsman. You have uh, traveled about halfway across the province of Plano, the, the central province of the Empire of Plano. And um, <coughs> everything seems to be smooth, sir. So what are you all into? Well, I'm just going to keep an eye on our course, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Occasionally I'll look over to my friends and just go back to what I was doing. Hi, right, Captain. Roll a 20 sign. For what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> can't get it out fast no, enough. No. <laughs> to tell you, what was it? A one. <laughs> <laughs> can you please get the one? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Roll it again. <laughs> Why don't you take all those other dice out? You'll have more room. Or roll in your tower. 
Oh, oh Twitty! Oh. Oh. I feel like there's like a two point assist in that since I suggested the tower. <laughs> so, your course remains true. Your altitude Steady on. remains true. Again, Tendy seems skilled at her job. <laughs> so I can let her continue the course and I'm going to go around and interact with the crew and my friends. <coughs> now I'm going to go interact. I'm going to go and check out my quarters, actually. Because this is the first time I'm actually going to be eyes on them. I'm going to turn into a chameleon and you walk in, you, you walk under the deck where all the controls for everything is, the sails and the rudders, and uh, you see uh, a little short hallway that tees off. There's one door that comes in off the main deck, a hallway that tees off. Um, and there's actually a couple of cabins back towards the, the main deck. And then a couple of cabins this way. It's a pretty wide ship. And then a, a big center cabin in the rear back. And that would be the captain's quarters. Uh, it's about 10 by 12. It's got a well-appointed bed and a desk and there are charts and this and that kind of thing. Um, some shelves, um, a solid, sturdy um, uh, chair at the desk. Currently mm -hmm. occupied by me. I'm still reading these books. Okay. Sorry, coming along with the accorder, Stanley. Yeah. Is that a definite yes or a no? Uh, I'm tired. It's pretty clear. And go to sleep. <laughs> uh, and is busy. Yeah. And Lee's tired. So what's our plan when we get there? <laughs> I just got wishers. Uh, I'm, just, I'm stuck. Okay. And the rest of you, where are you? So Those I'm other cabins belong to you all. I'm legitimately going to bunk down and sleep Please. because... Y'all bitches kept me awake. Um, she's me. trying to, but I'm not sure. What do we do so when we get Gatsby there? So Gatsby yeah, tells you all that she's set up the tent in one of the cabins adjacent to the captain's quarters. The little cabin is probably 10 by 8 by 10. So you've got just enough room to walk in the door, and then there's this tent. <laughs> That's this where I'm going. Me too. And yep. I thought so you could go into, into, the, not anymore. into the tent. Gatsby told us it was fine. Now. <laughs> and you have your quarters, eh? And that's where I'm going. Uh, me too. Me too. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to meditate for a little while, grasping my stone, so talk to Aslan, and go to sleep. the first floor is a big hall with the food and the room off been. the side, and then the two stairwells from the rear. Of course, I uh, grab some food on my way. And, and then the you have the library upstairs yeah. and the yeah, great hall. In the sitting area off to one side, there's columns down each side. The other side of the columns on this side are, yep. is a sitting okay. room, yes. couches and chairs. On this side is, uh, it looks similar to the, to the library in the, um, in the opening video. On mm -hmm. this side of the room is a library similar to that. And then towards the rear of that hall is a big kitchen. The day passes without incident. Uh, night begins to fall. Uh, <clears throat> when you go back on deck the next time, Tindy tells you that uh, the um, the shift is about to change. All right. And that um, a young man named Karan will be your your nighttime. Night. Home watch. Sun. Night watch, okay. Well, just fill them in on our heading and go take some rest. I can't do. Koran will be, will be uh, excited. Well, we are going to a voyage of what is currently uncharted lands for your people, so. Of course. Have I learned anything new from the books? I hope so. So, in the histories you read that later in in time um, the the visitors that came to live with the antler riders and fought the bear killers um, the things about the this the uh, fallen cities and all 
that was early on in the histories. The histories continue on um, only a few hundred years beyond that. And uh, each of the clans grew, the antler riders grew, the sea, sea peoples grew, the bear killers grew, and eventually became one, one tribe. They, uh, about 200 years after your visit, uh, the leaders of those three tribes came together and found their strength in their numbers rather than their, um, their adversarial um, attitude towards one another. So things have been, um, yeah, that, that was about the end of that history where the hostilities of those three tribes were put beyond them or behind them and they came together to build a future, and that's pretty much the end of the book. Well, we had three books. Right. And the other books describe, describe some, the one book that describes the dagger is mostly drawings from explorers that had looked into the old cities and uh, the fallen cities and the, pla the, the far plains before the mountain ranges, and you know, it's just more or less a general reference for geological findings uh, and things of that nature. So there's not much history there. They talk about the spears and, you know, the shapes and how they changed over the centuries from, you know, broad, napped uh, uh, blades to uh, even some metal that was harvested from the fallen cities uh, being shaped and hammered into uh, other tools of war and hunting and such like that uh, and you can see the you can see the, the the look of this stuff as it changes through the centuries mm -hmm. but the original napped blades and and sharpened antlers and bones those yeah. are the things that you all remember from your visit to that time everything beyond that followed a progression of just uh, ingenuity and utilization of what they had in their environment. The third book, however, is the kind of the Rosetta Stone of each one. They, it comes in um, right at the end of the other history and then begins to tell how the, how the peoples transitioned from, uh, from warring tribes on the plains to uh, a thriving uh, society of peoples that had, you know, um, they harvested from the sea, they learned, uh, they became agrarian and learned farming and keeping of livestock and uh, so their ways of, of hunting fell away, their ways of, of uh, gathering from, uh, you know, for the root porridge and the things on the tundra, all that kind of fell away in favor of um, farming and cultivating their own things and keeping their own animals and it talks about how the transition the traditions of some of the tribes were were being kept alive but the transition to this new society had uh, lost some of the old ways from these and it speaks even though it's in pre-common you know the preface and the early parts of it are in pre-common they discuss the the, the uh, nuances of the language as compared to current common speaking or the, as current as of the writing of that book, yeah. which was approximately, you know, 5,000 years ago. So uh, even the, the current common that was prevalent during the writing of that book is still kind of, it, there's some odd verb conjugations and things of that nature. It's not easy to read, but you can understand it with your understanding of common. Anybody in the group could read that portion of the book and, and, and kind of get it. Does it say when the, uh, the winters started to pass? Uh, it talks about the winters passing within you know, 500 to 1,000 years beyond when you visited. Uh, the, the snows melted, the lands became fertile again, and that's when they made the change from the hunter-gatherers of the tundra to the agrarian uh, animal keepers of that mid history. Does it say anything why the land was why that land was irradiated? Or? 
they wouldn't have, have known it as no, such. All they, all they, I mean, I, all they I talked about that. was uh, that there were fallen cities with uh, cursed lands. You know, cursed lands. Okay. That all that went there became ill, and very few returned. And uh, you know, and even even the retelling of the visitors. Yeah, they were cautioned not to go to the fallen cities, but they went anyway, and then they were never heard from again, so they must have succumbed to, to the fallen cities. Okay, good buddy. Mm -hmm. I think we should hunt down some of these people. Are we going to come into the screechers again? I am Probably not. I want to do those again. That was fun. Yeah. She got tore up a little bit. That's the size of the you got you got tore up by him, but that's besides the point. Night seekers, or dark seekers. No. Well, I'm heading Screechers. up. To, I'm heading up deck to greet my night watch. Okay. Is it safe to assume that Tally has no. rested and is Call now slightly watch. awake? Night watch. <laughs> night watch. Sure. All right. So so night's falling. Yeah. You know everybody's. Everybody's done their thing. You do your night watch thing. I, uh, I agree you, the night you watch. You study deep into the night. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's in the, the tent that, in Gatsby's cabin, you know, everything's cool. You got plenty of food, plenty of room to stretch out. Um, I just take my notes to the cabin. I put them on the dining room table, and I go back to the captain's cabin and go right to sleep. I'm done. Don't talk to me for 12 hours. Okay, so... Morning comes and you hear the bells ringing on the deck, uh, signifying a shift change. Uh, they are running two twelves, not three A's. There, because there's only five of them. Three on five. Yep. So this time it's my turn. I'm gonna walk to where are you, Cap Captain's, Captain's Captain. Where I am. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, as this is happening, I'm returning from. Oh, and the night watch and all that. Do you find my notes? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, and I'll shake the notes at you. But yeah. even more okay. importantly... It's morning. You've been up there all night? <laughs> I've been up there most of the night. Just okay, as, as you begin to go below deck, you notice that the sun is rising and the sky is just a beautiful pink and um, red. Pause. I want to do a druid craft to see what the weather's going to be like in the next 24 hours where we are. Well, if even so, we can easily go above the clouds. Okay. All, All right, so, so we're, we're going to have a clear sunny sky today. Are we still going west? We're yeah. still heading west. Okay. Okay. What's up, sir? I tell you the queen knows about us. No, you didn't tell me. What's up? What yeah. I say as I close the door behind me. She knows everything. Right. Okay, um, so my look, the, the, so when I cast it, wall. like something will appear Queenie. a walk that will like predict like what I know. You don't know. It'll like yeah. like if it's sunny, like a little uh, a glowing Everybody had a vision. A golden orb will Everybody appear, a cloud for rain, but all these snowflakes for snow. Yes, yes, so yeah. So will, or can everybody else see it? And yes. that, that, that explains the yeah. That explains the crankiness okay. yesterday. You, you, you. Okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway you you we're not right. I, I don't know. I figured I'd be it was on deck. Let's we'll we'll see. Okay. Yes. Blood. Well, just remember. Everybody cool. else is in a room, so you see. Fire. Fire. <laughs> I'm still waking up. Okay. Okay. So. I'll, and I'll, then I'll see it in the distance, or she knows about this before you. Okay. Okay. She knows what it is. She knows okay. how they work. And she's like, please do like, not the end for hours. And you weren't there? Like, no, he had okay. his vision. Uh-huh. You had a vision. Oh, no, no, you, you weren't on the walk with the queen. To queen. Yeah, none of us know oh, that. Oh, what? Can I go list? I'm, I guess I need oh, to yeah. let you guys know. And he is the king. Um, no. That, uh, See? we're about to get some really bad weather. Right, no one's looking. <laughs> Groovy. I didn't get any sketchy We're headed straight for some weather. It's my cloud. It's my cloud. Sweater weather. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, it's so weather weather. Sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Tell it. Tell it. The hatch Queen knows. What's our precautions? Tell it. Hmm. Queen knows everything. No. Okay. As no. you guys cool. are, as you guys are conversing, doing whatever you're doing, the sun is beginning to come up. 
the bells have rung for the shift change, uh, the deck change. Um, all of a sudden, you feel the ship lurch beside you. Uh oh. I'm going I back out, out, out the window. I'm, I'm back in the I'm running tent. out and just looking around, seeing what's going on. I'm looking out the window first. It's pink out there, man. To, to the stern of the ship, it looks bright and sunny and blue skies. And um, so as you, let's go as you break onto the main deck. Yeah, we're going to. Because like, it, it concerned me. Cause I, as you break onto the main deck, you see a wall of black clouds that have, it looks like there's a wall straight in front of the ship and a ceiling underneath it. Is, uh, is there a way I can, we can go over these clouds? Is it a Bermuda They're Triangle? thousands of feet tall. Shit. Can we see an end? It's it's like it's like a big wall pushing towards you. We have no choice but to go through. I land? Let's go. Can we land? I don't want to do this. All right, I guess I'll have to take home. I am not looking at, over the. You think I'm, you're better than Tindry? Yes, he's he's been. Can he? He was it's trained Tindry by Devere. Can handle it? Then she yeah. can tell me she can handle it, and I'll let her handle it. She, he was trained by Devere. And he's so been flying as, as for Tindy all of sees you arrive hours. on deck, she says. Captain? <laughs> yeah, I see it too. Do you think you can handle the storm? I believe I can, sir. So. We're right, not then. in a rush. We're not in like the biggest rush ever. And all We're of a sudden kind you, of feel this, you feel Family. this. You, you almost lift off the deck <laughs> oh. because the ship Turbulence. goes downward. Can we land? Captain? Recommendation, anyone? Land, land the boat! Let's land, quickly, please. You need to come see this! Uh oh. I run off and I just come out and look. One of the spars that holds the, the uh, one of the sails has broken. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> and you notice that Tindy is leaning into the wheel. She's got her arms wrapped around it and she's leaning against one side right. as the ship begins to drift slowly sideways and this call for someone to show. Bell! Bell! <laughs> Get out here and help Tinny and move. move. Try and fix the sail. No. Yes. Land. Oh, yeah, we need to no. fix the sail. We need we to need land to fix the sail. Oh. Fix the sail oh. and we're in safe. the air. Oh god. Are you are you air sick? Are you scared of heights? Yes! As yeah. as the ship begins to drift, the, um, the wall is getting closer. The winds that are being generated beneath these clouds, being drawn in, is it a tornado? Or yes, tornadoes. Anyway, the winds that are being drawn in are just like sucking the ship towards that. What do you say? Bell, are you coming out and helping? <laughs> yes, I'm there. All right, help Tindy. Got it. So as you go up there, the little red-headed girl that was your waitress at the restaurant mm -hmm. not a year ago now has your life in her hands. Help her. A mile above the land. Oh, whatever she needs me to do, I'll put my weight into it and my strength. She says, can you help me? We need to, we need to turn the wheel and hold it here. Okay, and no she's problem. leaning on it, and you can you see she's gritting her teeth, and you know it's kind of lifting her off the deck a little bit. And well, yeah, she's 15 pounds, soaking wet. This is Bell we're talking about, though. Yeah. She got, I got it. Right. So she Bell reaches out and goes, "Okay." All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Tindy looks up at her, and she's like, oh, "I've heard of all this." <laughs> Let's, let's just hold the course. <laughs> All right. All right. So I guess I'm gonna the go. The ship lurches and falls again. Oh, what do we fix this with? Well, we, we can, I can do what I can the to tie down the, 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 the. You hear a sail. snap. Oh God! Can we land without those things? Hey, other strong person. The float Hold stone that is uh, held on by a pylon from the bow of the ship on the port side. Tilts down and falls against the ship. The ship begins to list All right. to the port side. This is like the perfect storm movie. Where's Ace? Can we get Ace up in here? Yes. Call Ace. Ace is human. I'll take Ace and we'll fix the float stone. 
I'm gonna go fix the sail. I, I was guess. very interested okay. in the. I'll help you. The last ground one. is coming up very quick. Yeah. Uh, so let's get this quick. Let's get this done quickly. I'm gonna I go ground, fix the I sail. Can... You, you're gonna have Ace and with Amy. Yeah. Who's gonna be on? No, I've gotta stay on the. You wheel. stay on the thing. Yeah. Yes. Send Ace. 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 I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Ace lumbers up onto the deck and he goes, Gotta watch that. What? Yeah. That was a good catch, oh, by yeah. the way. He goes, Baseball. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? <laughs> Ace, I need you to grab that rope. <laughs> he, re he looks over the sign. Oh, dear. Just. <laughs> <laughs> and he grabs a hold of the rope that runs from the pylon and he puts his, you see his claws digging into the rope and. They stick out the front of his uh, his boot covers, oh, gosh. and he kind of grabs the deck. He's so cute. And he He's pulls, cute. and you see him just hand over hand pulling up on the float stone. Yeah. And as he pulls up on the float stone, the ship kind of rises itself, but it's kind of dancing to the port side. Yeah. So I'm, All right. I'm fixing the sail. I'm vaguely agile. I kind of want to take more rope and retie it. Y'all can thank me later. So how are you going to do that? Well, if he's got it pulled back up level, I can reach it. But it sticks out from the bow of the ship about the length of this table. Well, it depends on which rope broke. Just one of the ropes that... Shit. Um... So you can walk out on the spar, but the spar is probably... Yeah. You know, ten inches wide and it's basically like kind of like a cow. Okay. I'm gonna tie you off. Yeah, I'm rope around myself, tying it to the. Uh, yeah, give me a dexterity check. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, bro. Please. Yes. 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 Twenty-one. <sighs> like Lord like Crush. Yes. <laughs> Those of you that can see, Anley hops up on the rail. He's got the rope tied around him, and he hops down onto the spar. The spar kind of gives when Anley hits it, but you see Ace go, <laughs> and he pulls back on it, and it's held solid. Anley just kind of tiptoes out to the end, <laughs> kind of like Fred Flintstone bowling. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to like lay down on it and take my utmost exertion to like replace the one that broke. Okay. So the ship is still kind of listening port and just kind of bouncing through the sky. So I'm on the starboard <sighs> side where there is a, a broken spar holding the... What are you going to do? Well, I'm essentially going to see if I can at least tie off the sail securely so that we can safely land. Okay. The spar is kind of beating the side of the ship back and forth. You have any some like, like some yeah, how thick is the spar? music for this? Probably the spar is about that big around. And how broken is it? It's broken in two and hanging on the. How much? How much is it hanging on by? Like a thread? No, it's hanging on loops on the bottom of the sail. Ah. So it's just a an, an empty. It's the bottom spar. Oh yeah, that I can remove. Mm hmm. I can. I can climb down the side at least and try and. Okay, give me a dexterity check. Oh. How you so far? Yeah, that one seems to be good. Oh, God. Oh, no. It fell off. Somebody needs to be with him. Try again. I'll go. I'm going to go. I'm going to run. Oh, I'm you get run. a different guy in there. Are going to stay with him? I'll run. Meow. Come on. Yes. Plus dexterity. Dexterity. Main roll. Main roll. Second mm. one. Plus three? 16 plus three. 19. It was tough, but you managed to um, hold on to the sails and, and work your way out and uh, managed to secure the spar. It's still not solid straight out, but at least this it's not the beaten against the side of the ship anymore. <laughs> what? At least we're safe tense. for now. <laughs> Okay, so as you recover and you, you jump back aboard the deck. No, we're just supposed to throw it back. I'm not throwing nothing. I can catch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you can't catch you jump back yeah, aboard the deck well. before I'll you. I'll come back here anyway. So I would like to throw it to her and it would hit. What her. looks to be like 
a swirling funnel before the ship. Activity. Cyclone! It begins to move back and forth and grows into a little rope. And you see it hit the ground and you see things start coming up. <laughs> we need to, do we need to ascend into the cloud? Uh-uh. Does anybody have any spells they can do? We need to uh, yeah. I was thinking levitation to help with the, the spell. Oh, it's we need to look for over 500 pounds and I'm useless. Yeah, yeah. I'm my paper, like my paper, my like spell and all my stuff like disappeared. Well, yeah, all of my yeah. stuff is all attacked your, stuff. Your ship is out a, a mere thousand feet above the ground. All right. Think we can land it now, Tendi? Which is better? We do need to land. Aye, Captain. I'll do the best I can. I'll help. I'll pray. So you see her and Bell, they're fighting and pulling levers. And as she pulls levers, you notice that the float stones begin to turn and make certain movements, except for the one on the port front. All right. The port bow. Family, do you think you can at least... It, it seems to just kind of be teetering on the rigging that Anley made. There's not a whole lot of control over it. And it continues to list to the to the port side. But the ground is getting closer. That is a surety. How fast though? It's uh, coming. It seems to be at a, an acceptable level. All right. Decelerate, decelerate! It's like one of the dogs or something. I keep smelling it too. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Tootsie roll behind us. Tootsie roll? Well, it's on it's the on pad. The pad. Okay. It's on the puppy pad, it's alright. Alright, so, <laughs> as you descend beyond about 500 running. feet, oh, you, the, the wind just begins to Whip uh, through the deck. Great. Great. I'm trying to look for like an outcropping that we can get some secure. Uh, you're beyond the, the mountains and the elven lands. You are at the beginning of the plains. There's not a whole lot out here. All right. It's just flat land. Oh, shit. All right, We're so. Gonna crash land in the fucking desert. No. They don't say desert, they said plains. All right, so I'm going to try and help Tasty. at least guide us to like a safer area to land. Okay. We have um, storm. Is the two orcs and the ginormously huge bear enough to like hulk, hulkishly stop the ship like an airplane? Like he did in the, like, like he did with the And adventure? I'm, I am just sitting here like trying. praying as hard as I can to restore so. us. <laughs> hard as I can. Get the brace for Flintstone style. <laughs> you can try. Hang on. It wouldn't hurt. I can heal. I mean, I may have As to you're drifting, limbs, kind of port side, you notice that the funnel begins to move away from you, starboard. And you hear a tearing sound. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound good. As you look around, you see the spar that had been secured has now torn the sheet. And it is hanging beneath the ship, banging against the side of the ship. Mm. All right. Downward you go. Yeah, we need to land this so we can Wee fix it all. All right. Body hold tight. Here Brace for impact. I'm going to go run. The ground Four, is approaching three, pretty quickly. Two, one, all right. And Tindy hollers down, Captain, it's going to be rough. Brace, and I yell to everyone to brace for impact at this point. And Any the ship has some forward, around something. The ship has some forward motion and is kind of dancing this way. And as you get close to the ground, you feel it hit. Uh, and it kind of bounces up. Uh, and then it finally lands on the ground and slides about 75 to 100 feet. And Tindy starts hollering, um, Secure those sails! And the other sailors are jumping around trying to pull the sails down and uh, help. and everything uh, help. just seems you're you're kind of listing to the port. Alright, so at this point I should be able to hop off the uh, the boat, the airship, and uh, essentially just put the anchor down, right? You do a damage assessment. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So 
As you hop off the ship, you see that the hull appears to be intact. The only problems you have is the spar on the starboard side rear, and the sheet is torn completely in two, only being held on by a piece of thread on the outside. All right, so, Tandy, do we have any way to repair this, and do we have any replacement sails? We'll see what we can come up with, Captain. All right. What about this float stone mechanism? That must, we have to have, that has to be solid, Mom. Okay. Oh, do we do we have any books about it? Uh, no, but they taught us some some basic woodcraft in the in the academies. Okay. All right. Do you think you can let me help with that? Let's fix it then. Aye, sir. We'll get about it. So Good she Tindy okay. starts hollering at these guys, uh, being she's the only female in your crew. She starts hollering at them, and they start hopping too, and they start moving around. They've got the sails secured and this and that and the other thing. Uh, and they they lower a, a gangway and off the ship they go. And you see them at the bottom of the gangway arguing, well, we've, we've got to have some wood. And Tindy says, well, there's obviously no wood. Do you see any trees? And so they're arguing about where to get wood. And, well, we can, we can harvest one of the... Uh, the column timbers from below deck and work it in and so they're working it out. Alright. And I just lean over to Tindy and say, you're going to be an admiral one day. I can guarantee it. And she looks up and she goes, ah, sir. <laughs> I, that I will be. Let them and fix it. So they're working it out. The next thing you hear is, ah! I, I guess we're going to investigate. As captain, they're my responsibility, so. As you, as you go to the gangway, you see one of your young sailors lying on the floor, on the ground, with an arrow in his chest. Shit. Oh, here we go. Is he still alive? Don't know. Pulse! You, you see Tindy ushering her sailors back up the gangway. Yeah. Get I back on the ship! I have a shield up and I'm going to go ahead and... Arrows yeah. are flying. I'll go down there with you because I'm the medic. I'm going to be the ship medic. Yeah. So... Who, who, who has the crossbow? Me. Sniper post. Top deck. Gotcha. On it. We need a sniper post up. One of your sailors gets struck in the shoulder coming back up the gangway. A arrow flies up and strikes you in the uh, in the in the shoulder as well. I have a shield up though. Causing. Uh, it's not my shoulder. Uh, there's some arrows depending on the angle. Eleven hit points of damage Ooh. as you fall to the deck. I rush. I which direction are these arrows coming from? They're they're on the port side, and as you look out, these are grassy plains. You you're like, where the there's nobody there. These arrows are coming out of the grass. But if you look close down to you and you. Who? And you. Who? Us three. And she has sniper post. I'm on the sniper post down at the you. top. Okay. Roll a perception check. Woo! Plus. 24. 21. Okay. Oh, Ty, hit me. Pop. <laughs> Yeah. Hang on to it. Okay. You three, except for Agnes, Agnes is looking like, what are you talking about? <laughs> they can't, Agnes can't even see you on standing on the deck. But well, I am a pretty high. Oh, so. What are you talking about? I, I, I aggressively, aggressively pull my arrow out and I just look. None of my stuff's in my folder. Nor I can't find my card. Yeah, yet. none of Christopher's stuff was in his folder. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't find my card. Well, we should have. We'll, uh, we'll investigate that. Wherever the druid book is, right. over here, is that it? Over there? Yeah, uh, look like dwarf. Wherever the yeah, druid binder is, is I'm sure that's Alright, so, it, we're almost done. So, the three of you that, that rolled high, you, you, think see, you see certain tufts of grass begin to move. And as you look, 
these are it appears to be uh, smaller people doors huh? with these tufts of grass tied to their backs halflings and they're making their way through the grass and every once in a while you see one of these tufts of grass fly up and a halfling yep. <laughs> with a bow all right I'm, i raise a shield as i see them I'm just like okay nope is there any okay. reasoning with these halflings? There should be. Don't want to be too mean. Reason with them. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like, dead, 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 dead. <laughs> All right, get everyone below deck. Do we, don't we have cannons? We do, don't we? All right. No? Charlie horse. Yep. Owie. Ooh. Ooh. Crap. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We have cannons, don't we? Uh, you have uh, big scorpions. All right, far away. One on each fire side. A scorpion at halfling. Uh uh. Let's not do. Let's not kill them. The no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, gonna holler them. out. Well, okay. there goes so that friendly. point. <laughs> parlay, <laughs> parlay. Oh, we're on a ship, yo, parlay. Look, ready? No, not parlay. I'm gonna. Yeah. Cause they shot at us. We're gonna shoot back. Um, we see you! Why are you firing at us? Put down your gold! Go, really? Gold? Really? What gold? Your treasure! We want your treasure! What you willing to bargain treasure? for it? Sure! Okay! Alright, send one of your out. Hold on, I'll come out. I'll come out too. One of you come out. So you see one of them pop up. <laughs> and it's a little halfling. Yeah. He's He's carrying a bow. It's about this long. And you notice that the arrow that hit you in the shoulder and caused so much damage, if you yank it out, it's about this long. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm going to come out, one hand raised, and I've got a bag of hey, gold. Just so you know, I have hundreds of soldiers behind me. That's okay. Hey, okay. that's Let's cool. That's bluff. I yell out. I yell out. Okay. Roll a deception check. 20. He's lying his ass off. Right? Yeah. A few of them. Just like motion at me. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna walk out with you. You're injured. Stay. Look, I, I yell out. out. You Wait, see that giant uh, cannon? All right. Finish before you act. You see an Empire ship go down in a storm, and you think it's a good idea? Yeah, the evil Empire. Not anymore. It's not evil. Anymore. Haven't you heard? Oh, heard. 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 We're, we're friendly oh, now, and I just kind of like push my hair back so you can see the elf ear. And he goes, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, Tally! Mm -hmm. No! He looks and he's like, Okay, the cops. <laughs> okay, so you see. Did you steal the ship? No! no. Mm -hmm. He's one of the guys you just shot. Are. It's like one of the guys you just shot is the captain. Oh. We're generals of the Empire. General. Yeah. Wait, you're you're the unclean races. So what are, so are you, a duck? <laughs> well, of course. Tiny little buddy. We're uh, we're part of the unclean races too. Okay, so why are you firing at us? It's a it's an empire ship. And <laughs> okay. Your general. World's upside down, <laughs> kid. Okay. World's upside okay. down. I need you to breathe. I need you to breathe. <laughs> He's so confused. I, I like little guy, breathe. Please let me pick him up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay. Oh my God. How about Ace? This? Ace is bigger than you. Let Ace my name's Anne Lenny. Who are you? Just like Ganyan. Ganyan. Okay, Ganyan. Okay, Ganyan. Okay, Ganyan. Some of my favorite candies, Ganyan. Can we? Can we? <laughs> stop firing at my people now. Hold on. We mean you no harm. The storm knocked us out of the air. See the storm? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Big man walking. Yeah. Jesus. No, not that. <laughs> what? Dead man walking tornadoes. I'm gonna go, okay. uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna no, check no. on the guy that's down, see if he's still breathing. I'm already going down. Okay. Ooh. So, like, like we mean you no harm. We did not mean I'm to be here. Let me do my job. Can we drag him on to death. put this on do pause like while we now. take care of this and you promise not to shoot at us again? We mean so you zero you harm. You seem looking back. <laughs> And he's like, do it, do it, do it. They, they good ones. 
Okay, we're cool. I'm gonna pick him up. We're cool. Pick do him it, up then. Do and it, you do see, it. you see the tufts. Uh, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> I yell out. Of me? Us unaware of the occasion. Can I, can I say if no? You if you, no if you already know. I can, can I try and charm? I mean, before you use oh your luck, do you, I can char try and charm. All right, I'm going to try and charm. <laughs> How many of them? Wait. Um, is this I my mean, deception? Yeah. Um, we're going to go with 17. Oh. The little guy goes... He looks back. He says, okay, there go ones, come on. Okay. Let, we need to fix him. Which one? There, there's like two you shot. Well, the yeah, one that's, the one that's down. I, I okay. Get, I'm up and I'm already going down to check on our guy. See if he's still breathing. I'm Ties my gold bag back to my belt. Is he still breathing? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to go heal him, him, please. I got him. I got him. You can heal? Him. Yeah, I'm the medic. Okay, you can heal. I can heal. I'm going to drag him on Gatsby deck. runs down. Okay, okay. let Gatsby heal. She's, she's the healer. Go stand by Gatsby. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So Gatsby runs down and goes and lays upon hands, and you see the young man take a, a deep breath, and he kind of flutters his eyes open, and he's like, hey, you found him. I did. And he gets he's up and he's purse. looking around, and, we looked and Gatsby him. tells him, "Just calm down. Let's get back on the ship." So Gatsby helps him up the gangway, and you see. This little halfling walk up to the base of the gangway. They're looking at the ship, and you see about so five other ones. ones. Them along. You see about five other ones who, you know, kind of trot up there. Finale. And they're wearing, they're, wearing, <laughs> they're, they're kind of wearing, they, they've got some kind of uh, ceremonial, you know, armor set out of bone, and you know, kind of a loincloth thing, and Ugh. and. Uh, where are you guys from? Pick him up, pick him up. Pick I haven't up. seen any civilization out here. Where were you we're from? We're from the plains. This is our place. Oh, okay. So I'm going to assume your houses are very small and hidden by grass. Okay. Uh, am I wrong? Okay. okay. They okay. live underground. That would make sense, but they're not dwarves. Okay. So, like, he's not all right. What, what, what do you want? Um. Gold? You want gold? How much? Yeah, you attack us. Be reasonable. How much? Oh. Make them earn it. Give me, give me, give me a minute. Yeah. He turns around and runs back to guys, and they kind of puddle. I'm going to ask if they want to join the crew. They're like, forget join the crew. I want them to help rebuild this thing. All right. I don't speak Catholic. Don't I? So the one turns around, he comes right back, comes in. One gold piece each. What? Okay. In exchange. In exchange. Two things. We need wood to fix our ship. Do you know where we can find any? Oh, long way. Fuck. Okay. Second. Three things. What's the third thing? Can she pick one of them up? That is up to them. That is not part of the bargain. Okay. Second thing. You, I need you to tell us about this area of land that you are familiar with. Anything we need to know about it, any tribes we need to steer clear of, anything. It's our place. So it's just y'all? Elves there. Okay. And I'm so taking notes. The forbidden place is there. West. Okay. We need to go there. Or east. Wait. West. We need to go there. Forbidden Where? place. Where's the place we're supposed to go again? More the west. Forbidden Why forbidden? Places. Why? Is forbidden. it big? Yes. Okay, stone? Yes. Okay, we're going the right direction. All right. Uh, all right, I can, how, how many of you are there? There's six of them. Okay, so I just like pull six gold out. The empire is whole now. You don't get to shoot at us anymore. Okay. Okay. Bring it out to your chief or whatever. Is he the chief? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be true. I just came out with the, I think, maybe best idea we can have. Give it, literally, only if they will rebuild our entire ship. It's just two things broken. If they will help. They can have the treasure, and we can go, they can have the ship. 
They ask they for one gold piece no of wood. part. That's you gotta get wood. They can go and get the stuff and rebuild it. Uh, I don't want to bother them that much. Jesus. Okay, we're okay. good now. Here you go. Thank okay. you for the information. Good go. No more ideas he, from me. He takes it from you and he goes, Okay, good go. Okay. So he turns around and they get back in the bottle and <laughs> and then the next thing you see is they're they're running through the grass going <laughs> and they got to and they disappear. Fucking halflings, man. You just figure were they not that bright? Oh god, they're very primitive. Very Oh god. I, I get like one. Did I just bluff my way? Yes. I want one. Through a cultural oh, 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 like right. first contact situation? I was very much neat. Okay, cool. This no, is also their things. I you want can't. one. Yeah, I'm hoping they're not pets. Keep it. Okay, just because it's funny. Oh, I wish you a little funny. All right, so that's where we're going to leave it for the next session. I got you to go into a fight. You guys didn't want to fight tonight, so contrary to popular belief. We did not fight tonight because Amy had to talk him out of it. That's my job. So, we're going to pick up there in the next session. Uh, oh, next session, I'm throwing a fireball. What's the name of your ship? What's the name of our ship? Commander ship. ship. Oops, the Imperial. Imperial. I mean, what is the name? I have a name. It's the Imperial. The Imperial. The Imperial. So, the Imperial has crashed in the, the middle of the place. Jeez. I um, had a name in mind. And I'm telling you, Anley. Not Anley, Adlin. I know I was there already. You know what I meant. Like, telling what happened. Oh, funny about the <laughs> Fucking halflings. So, as you grab Fucking the stone halflings. and you focus on Adeline, mm -hmm. he says, yes, dear. And you hear it just like he's standing right next to you. <laughs> so I go ahead and I tell him everything that's happening. And we'll pick up there next time. Cultural first time. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys for uh, coming and watching us tonight. Um, we appreciate all that, and uh, we love y'all. Be excellent to one another, and we'll see you next time. Party on! Good night, y'all. Like and subscribe. <laughs>